Hi there, this is Sherry Lee Myers. Welcome to How to Connect with Angels. We believe that no matter what, every person has the unconditional love and help of angels, our messengers from God. But we have to be willing to believe and we have to be willing to ask. That's what our film, The Glitch, that we are shooting here in New Orleans is all about with the help of some amazing music and talent. If you're curious, visit us at theglitchmovie.com and take a look. But now, right now, let's talk to someone who's devoted to helping us make a divine connection. Rachel Collier is the founder of Way Chill Life, LLC. She walked away from an unhealthy marriage and a career as the general manager of a TV station to embark on her spiritual journey. As a child of light, a warrior for Mother Earth, and a channel for change, Rachel realized her soul's purpose is to spread love, light, and compassion with energy healing and teaching through God's love. She assists her clients in reconnecting to the earth, the guides, the angels, and to themselves as she lectures and teaches around the country. Rachel officially created Wei Cho Life in 2016 to help others find a life of peace as they realize that the answers to their most challenging questions are already inside of them. Rachel Collier, you are another New Orleanian, aren't you? Yay! Yes, I am! (laughs) My heart and soul always will be, doesn't matter where I live, my heart is a New Orleanian. What does that mean when you say that? When I say that I'm a New Orleanian, it means that I have a different perspective of life. I truly believe that New Orleanians love life. Now, we have our positive and negatives, depending on how you look at it. Maybe there is a little bit too much alcohol and and in this love of life, but I don't go that route. I already did it on Bourbon Street. So, <laughs> yeah, for so me, you, you expressed that and found that groove in New Orleans, which was incredibly um, lively and loving yes. life and seizing the day. And, yes. And, and the costumes. And, and, and I get it. I mean, I don't live on Bourbon Street like you did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think oh, anybody goodness. really should, but it was nobody the experience. Should. <laughs> nobody should be doing what you did. <laughs> So my darling, (laughs) there you were and you were in corporate and you were doing a lot of massive organizing of these huge things, these big events and big events. Yeah, and working night. for the TV French Quarter station. Festival. and Yeah. Good God. And you were like really on fire. But what was it that was missing? Because you took a you took a huge turn. Yes. Right. So the story goes is um, I have been into spirituality since I was, um, well, really when I was about three years old, I had a crazy experience happen so much that I kind of blocked my connection with God and with nature. And then when I was nine years old, I had my first astro traveling experience and I knew this was it for me. And I kept digging and reading and I had a grandfather and a great grandfather, Grandpa Morley and Grandpa Fred, who ironically not being spiritual people pushed me on a spiritual path. Um, They may call it aliens. Uh But they were into aliens. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes, they were. My grandfather was into aliens and uh, my great grandpa, Morley, he was on a spiritual path where he he was an avid reader of everything on Buddhism and Hinduism. And he would just tell us all these kind of things in these stories in 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 Iowa and Nebraska you know not where you expect that that's where you grew up you grew that's, up in oh my goodness yes yeah. so oh, i was so interesting oh your elders they brought you yes. forward with the teachings they did without effort without effort not not asking not shoving it down my throat mm-hmm. um i had a very religious side of the family that were mormons and Ooh, i had wow. catholics and Ooh. and so <laughs> we had a lot a lot of religion and very little spirituality but mm-hmm. but what came from my grandparents and my 
um, aunts and uncles, even my mother, she always, always told me to talk to the angels and to ask the angels what's going on. And so then I went through a little bit of a stage of doomsday. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of with my generation. I'm a generation Xer. Mm -hmm. Um, we like the extreme, you know, the world's going to end in 1999. Sure. Oh, no, it's going to be 2012. No, it's 1987. And then I got caught up with, um, you know, watching groups like Waco and um, watching yeah. these different spiritual groups whom I thought were on different spiritual paths turn and go maybe more weapons and more doomsday. Oh. And then all of a sudden I thought that was the path, you uh-huh. know, the, the serpent and the rainbow and, and reading more that, you know, the, the end of the world is coming and the wrath of God. And, uh-huh. and so all of my life, I've always been reading this and surrounding in it. And then I did what I'm supposed to do, what every good young American supposed to do. We're supposed to get married and go work in corporate America. So oh. I dropped all of my spiritual readings and all of the art and everything that I did and uh, got very much involved in uh, corporate America with Hard Rock Cafe and uh-huh. Bubba Gumps wow. and, and um, I owned a glass blowing studio. I still did the arts. And then my way of giving back to the community was through volunteering. So I did a lot of volunteering for festivals because I... I believe that the meaning of life is to have fun, even even through all this doomsday stuff. So if I volunteered for festivals, that means I was giving free fun to everybody. Oh, I love that. And that is something that is truly New Orleanian. When you exactly. say they love life, I mean, New Orleanians, yes. they like deliberately have fun. It's yes. like we will be having fun now. I love it. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day lasts, you know, (laughs) six weeks. You know, you know, you do know that we have a St. Patrick's Day celebration six months before. And then every day, six weeks on the day beforehand, there's a practice parade somewhere in the city. Oh, my Lord. I did not know that. And I live in the Irish (laughs) Channel. That's hilarious. Well, you see, I just not in that crowd. (laughs) I'm glad you are. You could let us know. That's why New Orleans... And, and she and I became one ah. because I loved her culture and her power. Mm-hmm. She is that, that, that river that runs through her brings her life. Unfortunately, the past 10 years, though, has turned her river more into kind of an exit strategy for the rest of the United States where um, it's kind of become a dumping ground. And that's where um, why we did a lot of the earth healing circles in New Orleans was um, years ago, six years ago, was we started those um, around the city. And it was really because we were starting to feel all of the negative crap, crud. Come down oh, honey, river. absolutely. <laughs> It's just there is a there's a dark snake, you know. There yes. is that yes. that darkness, and people fall into the darkness. And in, in a way, the darkness is kind of part of the mystique, isn't it? Things happen to people in New Orleans. It does, and it's and the neat thing is is that it balances itself out ah. if you allow it to. The problem is is that most people come to visit New Orleans, that yeah. it's a wham bam thank you man and they're gone. But those of us who live there understand that through this great chaos and all of this where people might call it a void or dirtiness, mm. there is a, an incredible beauty. There's an incredible love of life. Now of course, we have people that want to come and control it, mm-hmm. the necromancy and mm-hmm. and and the voodoo and the voodoo has gotten a little out of hand. But that's only representative of everything else. Everything has gone to extreme. And it is time for us to come back and connect 
to our source, connect back to ourselves. And it is truly through the angels, through uh, the beings was, of light. There you go, baby. I was just waiting for you to make that. Yeah. And connect. And the angel of New Orleans, she is powerful. Mm -hmm. And if you go sit at her river and watch the full moon rise, mm. you feel her wings come out and grab you and say, we're going to take care of you and give you everything you want. And we're also going to take everything you have. Isn't yes. that part of it? I mean, that New Orleans, it's definitely a passionate love affair. It um, is. And I, now I have two questions simultaneously, which happens all the time with me. Uh, our, our podcast is called How to Connect with Angels. Can I, can you just download on that for a couple of minutes? How to connect yes. with angels? Because as you say, bringing the angel energy into our lives allows all of that goodness to start filling us up. We start loving ourselves. You were talking about self-love in an, in another podcast that I was listening to, which is awfully, awfully good. Um, it's on L LA talk. Um, sorry. Is it LA talk radio? Yes. Uh-huh. And it was an interview with Lisa Tahir. Lisa yeah. Tahir, my goodness, yeah. who's also from New Orleans. Yes, yes. Dang. I'm New Orleans <laughs> so girl awesome. friend. There's a beautiful interview with you, please. Y'all, we're gonna put that link on the same page where we post this interview because that gives you so much incredible backstory that we are not gonna take our time to now because this woman has such a vitality and I gotta bottle it right now and say, Okay. I'm coming to you and I have felt like crap for years of my life and I want to shift and I'm scared to death. How do I start? You know, you said the exact words and I'm scared to death. That is what America is right now. We are living in this world of fear. We are putting ourselves in prisons and we've created ourselves into zombies. And the craziest thing is, is we have our own power to shift it. Mm. And every single being, whether you believe it or not, is born with a guardian angel. We all have the help to waken ourselves up, to pull ourselves out, and all we have to do, are you ready for this? Yes. Is ask. I all I all I have to do is ask. It's yes, it's that simple. And we forget this because we've been so separated from God, from the beings of light, from the earth, from ourselves. So I have been downloaded and I'm very grateful. This is all new information that's only happened within the past two or three weeks Ooh. of how the angels and pardon me if I get choked up here because this is this is very um, authentic and true because when it was given to me, the Holy Mother Mary appeared behind me oh. and I had my two of my big angels come up, which I'm very, very connected in with Raphael mm. and um, Ezekiel. And mm. both of them stood there and they're like, this is your gift to give to the world. Oh. So <laughs> let me tell you right now, you, the yes. listener, can stand up. Uh, and you can feel the presence of the angels now, and you don't need anything but to do these simple steps. And it's very easy. You stand up and you connect yourself into the earth. You have to feel the earth again. We have to feel the ground below us in order to feel the angels above us. The first time you do this, and I have walked several people through this that have never done any sort of a spiritual work or energy work, and they've all been able to do this. Uh -huh. So I know you can do this to listeners who have not um, taken any initiation or in any classes. Okay. So stand up, and I want you to find your center point. And for this exercise, your center point is not your heart, but it's your your actual. It's called your hara, or it's also called your your key, your dunshin, your your, your chi point. And this is located two fingers below your belly button, and it's inside of you. 
This is your spiritual center. This is where your spirit lives. This is where God lives inside of you. And this is where your guardian angels come out. Now, you often will hear talk about your inner child and your higher self, and all of those exist too. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm focusing on your connection with you, God, and your guardian angel. Okay. So we're going to look at this center point inside of us again, Mm -hmm. and we're going to feel that this energy inside of us is being pulled into the center of the earth. And so when we stand straight and and tall, we breathe in through our nose and we breathe into this center point and we feel that energy build there as it's being pulled into the ground. Now, this is an awesome exercise just by grounding yourself. If you are in a situation where you're about ready to kill somebody or say things that is not appropriate, Mm -hmm. (laughs) step away. Take a deep breath through your nose, pull yourself into the ground. Now simply put your hands in a prayer position and start at that area, your center point right below your belly button and bring your prayer hands up slowly to your heart chakra. Mm -hmm. Your heart chakra is located right in the center of your chest. If you go under your arms and go right to your center Mm -hmm. and open up your prayer hands about an inch to two inches Mm -hmm. and begin to feel the vortex energy. This is your personal vortex energy. This is your energy. This is, this is, um, this is where Reiki and, and prana energy comes from, but this is truly vortex energy as you build it in your hands now to simply feel the angels and to feel that love Mm -hmm. simply imagine yourself between your hands use your imagination here Mm -hmm. make a little sherry there and put her inside your hands and now send love through your heart through this portal that you made no intentions needed because the angels and God knows everything that knows to be fixed. We're just sending the love there. Oh. And that's it. Oh, that is great. Oh, it's so... Boy, I love that on so many levels. I love that on so many levels. So we are now in the process of connecting. And the, the angels help us to connect. Exactly. How? Tell me how. How? So, um, the angels are broken up into nine orders. And this is something that I've been studying for a while. I've been very fortunate to become certified to be an, an angelic healer and teacher through Walter Lubick's mm-hmm. uh, Meeting with Angels classes. And this is something that I do teach. <laughs> what I just showed you is nothing that I was taught by any teacher, but was taught by spirit itself. It's conscious love. Conscious that's love. that's conscious love. And so yeah. after you send that love out, the last thing you have to do is turn to your right and give thanks to God and to the angels for the help. Because again, we are the creators, but we have to thank our creator for creating us and the angels. So when you go and look at the nine order of angels that exist, and again, I didn't make this up. This is this is through literature, through time and history, through art. Um, you can find it in the Kabbalah. You can find it in um, the Bible. You can find this information um, even in Muslim text. I love about what how you have expressed your work is that your work is, and you truly believe that each person has a con- unique connection with source and with yes. the angels Very and personal. you and I, one of the things about being a new Arlenian is honoring people's uniqueness and I just want to acknowledge that that I so love that because you are all about acceptance yes yes because we are now in the age that we get to be one over the next 50 years. We have the opportunity to stop this world of pain and suffering and truly become one in the joy and love that we were originally created for. 
There was a message that I was very fortunate to channel last year while I was at Lilydale Assembly um, up in New York State, Please. which I will be teaching up there in uh, July, oh. the Angel One class wow. as well there. And part of this message was, is there is nothing more and nothing less than love. Love is all. Love is God. Love is the void. Love is the great fire of life that gets the opportunity for us to choose it or accept it. Those who choose it will take the longer route. They will look for proof and evidence of good. Good does not equal love. Bad is not good, therefore not love either. Love just is. If you are one with all and you make no choice, you are one with God. That is all you can ask for is oneness. It is this whole concept that when we are, we just be, that truly everything lines up for everyone and, and it all takes place in the way that the creator really wants us to. The beings of light, the angels, actually work directly with God and with us to create our perfect path. It's already lined up. It's already out there. It's just that we have this crazy free will that we keep changing our path and others change our path for us. So the more that we become conscious and the more that we love, the more that we give up this um, fear and understand that there is abundance, there is good health, there is everything for all if we just allow it to be. So it's so hard for people <laughs> to just allow love because we've been so separated from it. And and may I add that uh, back to um, what we were talking about prior to the interview about with the glitch and with women who have, and people who have been through trauma, everyone has a prison. They have put themselves in a yeah. prison and that prison can be a prison of shame, doubt, unlove, what it's kind of all, you know, there is a thread or a, a fundamental error in all the prisons that we put ourselves into. You help us free ourselves from our prison, don't you? That's yes. the work that you are dedicated to doing. So let's yes. talk specifically about all, do you mind, did we talk yes. about your modalities and where you are focusing your attention right now? Is that okay? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I've, um, I've, I've been studying all of this again the, the most since I was about nine, the crystals and everything. Mm -hmm. Over the past five, uh, six years, I was fortunate to do a lot of study under Walter Lubick. Uh, I got my first stand master's for Rainbow Reiki. I also studied Asui Reiki and got my um, master's in Asui Reiki under William Lee Rand. And how has your life changed as you have become attuned with Reiki. How is your experience of your own life different? Well, I just saw a posting uh, eight years ago on Facebook today. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. And I don't recognize that, Rachel. <gasps> no. I don't recognize her at all. Um, I don't know that I... I've always enjoyed who I've been my whole life. I don't know that I I would even be friends with who I was eight and 10 years ago now because I was so high strung and hyper. Um, I never was here in the moment. It was always about what's going to happen tomorrow. And I believe that's why I can help so many people because it took me 10 years to learn to meditate. It took me five years to learn how to shut the voices off in my head. I lived... Um, at the Hard Rock, like the months of December, literally, um, I would sleep on a, 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 a little couch in my office because I worked so hard. So because I came from this background, I understand these prisons that we all put ourselves into. Mm -hmm. I get it. I was there. I, I, I saw who I was. And granted, I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Um but I was a, just a zombie. And you were I paying really, a price, for, weren't you? 
I wasn't helping people as much as I thought I was. I was <laughs> enabling them. Okay, we can no longer enable people. Thank you. It's, big, it's a big statement there. It's Say not it about again. enabling. It's not about enabling. It's about having people help themselves. Okay. So the other thing that other that that and I know Vanessa talked about this too is healers are not spas. <laughs> we are not a spa. <laughs> we are here to help you help yourself. All of your information lies within you already. Yes. Everything you want to know is within you. I could talk till I'm blue in the face. I could put up spells and mantras. Well, I don't do spells, but I do mantras and I do healings and I can, I can fix your back and I can do all these things, but it doesn't matter if you don't connect with yourself, if you don't love yourself, if you don't know anything about yourself, you're just, you're, you're missing it. And yes, because you're missing what's at your core, which is your godness. Exactly. Yeah. And we all are creators. It's so funny because for years I would talk about, oh, just be one, just be, just do it. Well, the past year I really have. And let me tell you how awesome my life ah. is. I really did. I, I gave up my free will. And yes, there's been tears. No, my life isn't perfect. Yes, it's up and down. Yes, I still have to pay bills. But everything happens. I don't try. I just love. Oh, I, love I just that. love. Oh, I love that. You have intention. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about that. That's such a great topic. So when you do healing work yeah. like Reiki, like pranic energy, um, uh, healing touch, when you do that type of energy work, it is best if you set an intention mm -hmm. because then the healing is going there and you're already perceiving it better. Earlier in this conversation, I showed you how to feel conscious love, and that is to feel the true love of an angel and from, from the source and from God directly. And so when you do that, you could actually imagine yourself, or your family, your house, any problems or situations without intention, you just send it love and light. Why do I say without intention? Because the angels and God already know what's good for us. They already have the plan set. They already know what's for our highest good. They know that we need to be healed from the cancers and the diseases, but some people need to go through the experience so that they can understand that they do have control of their body, that they, and, it, and it's, it's so hard that we have to go through these yucky experiences, but if you ask your angel, your guardian angel to help you, mm -hmm. say if you are dealing with, let's talk about something simple, financial issues. Okay. Everybody has financial issues at some point sure. in time. So how can an angel help you with this? Well, if you learn to meditate every day, whatever way works best for you, and when I say meditate, I don't mean to get into a lotus position and start doing mantras for two hours in some perfect position and doing this breath and, oh, yeah, no, 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 that is, that's not real. That's not real. Come on. All I'm saying is to take five to ten minutes every day of being at peace with yourself. And an excellent way to do this is to go to your favorite farmer's market mm. and they will have a beautiful person that makes candles. And I want you to go and I want you to look at all these beautiful organic soy made based candles that they have and say to yourself, Okay, guardian angel, I know you're within me. I know you're here. I'm going to pick out a candle just for you. Oh. And this candle I'm going to light for you either every morning or every day as my intention of love to you. Oh. That's it. Nothing else. So when you go to the candles, you might even close your eyes and just randomly pick one. Mm -hmm. Don't think too hard about it because they're already going to say, oh, 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 I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> Oh, it does work. Oh, it does work. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And so then you get that candle and then you create a small space in your home. 
mm-hmm. your your apartment, in your bathroom. Mm-hmm. This does not have to be complicated. Mm-hmm. So you create a little space and you have your candle now. And so in the morning, in the evening, when you have time, again, we're talking five to 10 minutes, right? Light the candle yeah. and sit at peace and just be grateful. That's it. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my wealth. Thank you for all of these great things. And as you sit there in a meditation, when you're in a true meditation, you're not supposed to be thinking at all anyway. You just light that candle and feel, feel the money, feel the abundance, feel what it is that you want. Again, no intentions are really necessary. It's more of how do I want to feel? Yeah. Yeah. So you feel the weight of the world off your back. You feel all of these worries gone. For me, um, it was a year ago. I decided I wanted to live in Palm Springs with a pool. And so for, um, for about six months, I would light my candle, thank my guardian angel for all the help that I'd gotten up to that point. Mm -hmm. And then I would just sit there for five to 10 minutes and I would feel myself floating in this pool. I would feel myself being so happy picking the fruit off the tree where I lived. And I would feel this presence of being one with everything in this environment. Mm. Mm. Guess, guess what I got in six months? Yeah. You floating in the pool. (laughs) I'm floating in the pool on that full moon and I'm giving my gratitude up to these angels. I didn't set the intention of saying, I want a, this house, this, 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 this. I only put out what I felt that I wanted and I got, Mm -hmm. I even got the, the solar panels on the house. I mean, I Um, couldn't believe it. uh, So when we have a financial issue, we don't pray for money. (laughs) Instead, we give thanks for the life that we have. And then we give gratitude for the future of abundance. Yeah. 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 And hang in there with it. You know, it, and, it doesn't go and, on the shelf, right? I mean, no, you, right. You have it. We, ha, we, it's not a pill you can take. I'm sorry, people. You have to do this every day. It is, <laughs> it is work. It is work. We love to do things quick and easy. Hey, uh, can you fix this for 20 bucks? Yeah, great. Got a pill for a hundred dollars. That'll take this away. Awesome. <laughs> nope. This, you actually have to do some work, but it's a, it's a lifetime payoff. That's yeah. the difference. Right now on to this amazing a uh, concept that you have and you were talking about earlier of magic living bring, having yes. a life of magic yes hello we all do we all do we all do and uh one of my purposes on this plane is to bring that magic back mm-hmm. we forget that we are beings of light ourselves mm-hmm. that we have this magic within us and it happens every day And if you just stop and smell the flowers around you, you'll see the magic. If you just stop and understand what's happening around you, you feel the magic. I can tell you story after story of people who, I'm going to say, quote, manifested things to happen. I don't get into manifestation anymore because I gave up my free will. So I really call it more magic now instead mm-hmm. of manifestation <laughs> because sure. it is all God's will. Yeah. It's God's will. Yeah. I don't, I don't do vision boards anymore <laughs> because I really believe that uh, it's a feeling that I'm moving towards and it's a feeling of oneness and with love and God. But yet I, I just had a, a $1,700 camera mailed to me by a friend because she wanted me to improve my videos. Okay. Thank you. This this is what I'm talking about when I say magic. I'm not just talking about the fact that I always park in the front row of parking, which ironically, I always have a parking space, but I go park in the back because I'd rather walk. (laughs) But it's just, it's like timing. It's like your whole life, everything 
fits and flows and then you start to see the fairies and then you see the trolls come out and then you see the wildlife and the animals around you even in the city and all of a sudden that squirrel stops and starts talking to you and you hear the messages that the trees have for us oh everyone stop you've got to go to the website you've got to go you've got to go to the website Um, the most wonderful blog that you wrote rachel Oh, about trees, trees, the standing people. Come on, y'all. You've got to go. RachelCollier.com. R-A-C-H-E-L, right? Is that? Weird? Oh, it's it's Way Chill Life. That's W-A-Y-C-H-I-L-L-L-I-F-E. I call it Way Chill Life because my four-year-old niece kept calling me Wachel instead of Rachel. And so this is about Wachel's life. This is my journey that I'm sharing with you to help you find <laughs> your personal beliefs yes i have my perspective but it's a big wide open perspective that i can help any religion any background find it's so cool i was at a conference last january and they hired me to do healing and as every person stepped forward, their guides came through me. And so one minute I had the Holy Mother Mary in the room. And then the next minute Shiva came in because of, of each person. We are all individuals. We have our own guides and our own belief system that come with us. And no one's wrong. Rachel, can can you talk a little bit about this uh, meeting the angels classes that you're offering? Yes, I've decided um, because spirituality is so personal and you don't need to go to Tibet, you don't need to go to Sedona, that I was going to start teaching classes online. And instead of doing the online classes where it's a video you watch and fill out things and they're pre-recorded, I'm doing live online classes. So the initiations are as if we were all in the same room together. Mm -hmm. And it is an initiation and it is very... Uh, tangible. You learn through the meeting of angels, not just the nine orders, but the symbols that go with them and the mantras. Therefore, you can use each angel for very specific healing. Um, For example, the archangel um, Gabriel or Gabrielle is really good at putting things into motion, like uh, quitting smoking cigarettes or helping you drop fears. Mm -hmm. And um, through guided meditation um, that I lead people through too, that you can learn about in the second angel class that is um, will be offered again every month online as well. You learn how to go into the heavens and find your own personal sacred knowledge. It was by going into these heavens of um, the goddess heaven and to the heavens of bliss and these different heavens that I was able to download and understand different concepts. Now, my teacher taught me these first two levels of angel, which um, is what I teach. Mm -hmm. But I've also been gifted now the third level of class, which is the fifth dimension Um, uh, crystal structures with the dragons and it's about clearing karma and letting go of our past which was the only thing that we really didn't talk about let go of your past people let go of your past let go of your past (laughs) just let it go you can rewrite it all you want nobody knows (laughs) just let go of it (laughs) oh everybody I wish you could see Rachel's face when she says that she really means it yeah let go of your past it does not matter at all we all screwed up we all screwed up and that's the whole thing about being conscious and being here in the moment is we forgive ourselves and we let go so these classes teach you exactly how to call in which angel not all angels do everything um Raphael is a great healer but he's not really good at cleaning up messes. Archangel Michael, he's really good at cleaning up messes. He can, um, possessions and, and issues that we're dealing with. So different angels do different things. Metatron, oh, I'm a big fan of Metatron. 
So you learn about all these angels, but the thing is, is that it's direct information. Mm -hmm. It's not foo-foo, oh, isn't this pretty? We're going to sit and pray. Mm -hmm. No, this is direct healing that you send. Um, You don't need to learn distant healing chants, but singing the angel songs just fills you with love and light. And then with the crystal path, you learn how to send energetic crystals astral crystals and now we're working more directly with the beings of light with these ultra terrestrials so basically the classes give you an open communication and really show you (laughs) exactly how to connect and you can feel the different levels of the angels Mm. immediately it's not like oh in the next six months if you keep practicing no by the end of the class you know the nine order of angels. You know the you get four of the archangels. You learn how to build an altar, and you can instantly become a in, in one class. In one class. In one, one class. class. One, one class. class. Okay, y'all. <laughs> one class. It's one that class. Easy. Meeting the angels. Meeting the angels. Yeah. And, get, and what's the date again? Um, I have a class coming up this July eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth. But 11th, every 11th. month, mm-hmm. um, every month I will have. Um, online classes available. Um, we do, we do it over three days, okay. three hours each. Okay. Um, the Lilydale will be a one day massive class. I'm very excited about it. Usually it takes two class, two days to do this class, but Lilydale requested I do it in one day. So, uh, it's like 12 initiations <laughs> in, in eight hours. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot wait to have you back in New Orleans. <laughs> oh, I'll be back teaching the third level um, this fall, probably okay. uh, in late uh, November, December, early December. Okay. Um, because I, they're ready now for that third level of, of um, dragon healing. Oh, boy, and oh, boy. Okay. Sherry, we are so appreciative of you for what you're doing and with the glitch because oh, sure. you bring consciousness to the masses by promoting all of us angel yeah. healers and by yeah. getting out the bigger point. So without you, again, <laughs> it takes all of us to all, create all of us, all our of us. future. Yeah. 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 So let's all, you know, let's all like lock, lock arms and get, get on, get on the grid. <laughs> That's thank right. Thank you. Thank you, my darling. I thank you so much, so much for this time. I'm so very appreciative to be here. I and I, we could talk all day. <laughs> I know. And here's one last little bit of love I'm going to send out because I don't believe in time and space. So whoever hears this and whoever will feel this, I'm going to go ahead and send the Archangel Raphael. Raphael, 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 I'd please like you to wrap your wings around every single listener right now as they hear this. I ask that you will be present with them so that they may feel your healing presence in their energy and that whatever it is that each individual needs, Raphael, you go in and you heal them with that love and light. (sighs) And that's my final blessing for you and all of your wonderful listeners. If you liked this recording and benefited from it, Please, for heaven's sake, share it with your friends. If you loved it and want to hear more, go to theglitchmovie.com forward slash how to connect with angels, where you can listen and subscribe. Thank you so much.